love and light everyone so it has been just some days um the last video that i made um i had just come from the um ghana embassy and uh it didn't go so well but i am happy to um share with you all that i went back um and it was a much better experience so i was able to get my paperwork in for my son and i and i was given a date to come back this coming week to pick up our visas Yay! so um i will be videoing um the day that i go in to pick the visas up um so i went in um, and it took just over an hour. The uh, embassy here in the nation's capital um, for Ghana is very small. It is a very small embassy. Um, I had never um, been inside of that embassy um, up until um, last week. And it was a very small place. It was a lot a small space excuse me and it was a lot of people um, and it was a lot of my people and it was a beautiful experience because although we were all jam-packed in this you know um, minimal space it was <laughs> just such a beautiful experience because everyone was being so courteous and so kind um, towards one another and it just warmed my heart so much um, Everyone was helping one another, um, chit-chatting while we were waiting in this long, well, this line that was like wrapped around because there wasn't enough space for us to kind of, um, you know, space out. So, um, but we were just, you know, chit-chatting and, and just being loving and kind to one another and just learning about one another. So um, it was a beautiful experience. So it took just over an hour for me to navigate um, and get to the front of the line. Um, so I can tell you, if you have to go to the Ghana Embassy, um, you know, I just, I do want to warn you that it is a very small, confined space. Um, you will have to wait <laughs> in, you know, in a, in a line um, and it can, you know, take you know, quite a while while they work through all the people. And there's literally one person at the window and he uh, does the intake. And, um, you know, he looks at all the paperwork to make sure that it's all in order. Um, and then he moves on to the next person. So I will video when it's time for us to pick up our visas this week. And uh, we've gotten that done. Um, starting next week, we're gonna just, in the next couple of weeks, we're really needing to make sure that we have most of the big stuff out of here. So we're just going to, what we can't give away to family members, we're just going to take it to the Salvation Army. Um, I am still working on, you know, deciphering um, what I need to register my truck um, once we get to wherever we decide to be permanently. So I'm just kind of putting that on the back burner for now. So I'll just have to uh, take, you know, local taxis and Uber, whatever is available until we decide where we want to be and then I can get my truck shipped. I will let you guys know every step of the way. You will know, you know, how much it costs um, I do plan on putting a couple of um, other things in my truck so they can be shipped um, and 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 um, shipped to the continent. So I will be letting you all know all about that process. Um, so, and I will let you know, like once we decide where we want to be at, I will let you guys know exactly what you need to get your vehicle registered to whichever African um, country we decide to go to so I guess because I can only speak on that um, let's see what else that is it we're just 
time is winding down and it's just so much to do. So we're gonna get um, some adapters because we know that when we were in Tanzania, we definitely needed um, adapters for the electrical sockets um, because, the, because of the voltage uh, difference. Um, and so we, we're gonna pick up a few of those. We're gonna make sure that we pick up a couple of more portable chargers. Um, so we're gonna get those things. Also, you guys, my son and I were just discussing this um, earlier today. When we took our plane, right, to Tanzania, okay, so we we had to take, like, I think it was three different airlines. Yeah, three different airlines. And one of the layovers was just like for an hour and we were not allowed to exit the aircraft. So we literally had to sit on the plane while um, we waited for, for about an hour or so while we waited for the layover to end and while the cabin was being cleaned or not cleaned, you guys, they do not properly clean <laughs> these air, aircraft, like they, they don't. Um, a team came in, I think we were in Kenya at this point and a team came in and they barely wiped off. And I'm telling you, there was no disinfectant or anything. They took a dry rag and just dusted off the, um, the, the trays that you eat on. They, um, the, 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 you know, they, of course they took the trash, but there was no real, like, like there, nothing was sanitized. That's my whole point. And I was shocked. I was so shocked and then I did not know that the blankets that they provide on the plane on the plane sometimes they're in your seat once you sit down um, other times they may pa pass them on to you the uh, um, flight attendants I thought that they were new they're not they're used and <laughs> they are supposed to wash them and um, then they put them back into these plastic bags. Well, my son got one and it smelled like urine. It was damp. It was like it wasn't, um, excuse me, it wasn't completely dry and it was damp and we smelled it and it smelled like urine. It was so disgusting. It was just so disgusting. So when you're traveling just make sure that you have some what you know and of course you would have to look up and make sure um that, that it's allowed for you to take on um the flight with you but you know whatever type of sanitize <laughs> sanitizer or or uh disinfected wipes that you know we're gonna definitely make sure that we have that with us and i would encourage you to also um, carry those things along with you so you can wipe things down. I mean, health is so important and there are just so many people traveling from different parts of the world and, you know, coming from different cultures and sometimes people can, can you know, are sick and then they're wallowing all in the seed and, you know, just all different types of things. And then you come and you're like sitting in the seat and then you get tired and you want to rest your head and you don't know who was sitting in that seat prior to you and what kind of things they may have go, going on. So I would just, you know, really encourage you to make sure that, you know, you have some sort of, some, some wipes or something where you can kind of disinfect things just to, you know, protect you protect your health and so we said we definitely want to um, make sure that we are prepared also having our own blankets we do not want to use those blankets again now that we know that they are not new um, and now that we know that they're probably not uh, thoroughly washed or, if, or washed at all and as the one that my son got was clearly not washed um, so yes so those are some of the things that we're just gonna make sure that we have with us, um, our own blankets, and some things that we can, you know, uh, disinfect um, with, um, and um, just, you know, uh, whatever other things that we think of. And we'll, we'll let you guys 
you know, know um, what those things are. So I just wanted to make this really quick video. Um, you guys, there's just so much that I still have to do, but I will um, share everything with you. I And if there's anything, you know, that you guys need to know that I haven't answered thus far, or it's just things that you want to know, please comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much to all who have already subscribed to um, this channel, Journey Through Alkebulon. Also feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Mahogany Speaks Truth. I welcome you all, and I am just so excited to share this journey with you all. So until next time, 